Hey everybody, it's four, about 4.30 in the morning on a Thursday, drinking my coffee. I've been up for about an hour and a half already and thought I would pump out a video real quick. This one we're going to be installing Ubuntu 14 in Mac OS 10 Yosemite. It's pretty much the same process for uh, Windows and or Linux. So, uh, But just to set things up, on my VM drive I do have the ISO downloaded. It's Ubuntu 14.04.2 desktop 64 bit just to be exact. So let's go ahead and launch um, VirtualBox. I'm going to go ahead and select new. We're going to call this Ubuntu and it found a um, kind of a templated one already. So we'll just leave that because it is 64 bit. We're going to leave the default RAM. Yeah, we want to create the virtual drive. We want it to be a VDI and dynamic. Um, this, I just want to make sure that it's going to the right directory. Yep, VM Ubuntu. All right. So that's good, eight gigs, that's plenty, I think, for what we're doing. So now that we got that, I'm just gonna go ahead and hit start. Let's see, it should ask for, yep, the ISO. Let's get to it, here it is here. Start it up. It's been a long time since I've installed Ubuntu, so it'd be interesting to see how different things are now. 14.04, no valid something domains. All right. We're just going to keep rolling with the punches, I guess. <clears throat> I would think these days it should be fairly simple. I mean, it was fairly simple back, I don't know, three or four years ago, too. But do we want to try Ubuntu or do we want to install it? We want to install it English. All right. For best results, please ensure that your computer has. Yep. And it's, yep. Yeah, I want to download nah you know what i don't want to download updates while installing i can do that later well, i'll do it now i'll just pause the video if it's going to take a little bit longer all right this computer currently has no detected operating system we would like to erase the disk and install ubuntu we don't need to encrypt it uh no and it's something else no i think we're good with just the default yeah 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 it's just a vdi there's nothing on it so let's just do it where are we at in the world? We are, let's see if we can type it. I mean, we're not in Chicago, but we're in the Chicago, like time zone, Chicago time, there we go. All right, English, English keyboard. We don't need to type to test. Your name is Chris, your computer name. Chris is computer name. Um, let's just do, um, Chris Ubuntu. Pick a username, C Davis. Pick a password is my super secret password. If it would type when I'm typing. Okay, we're a little hung up here. Oh, there we go. I guess I was too fast. <laughs> require, yes, always require. We don't need to encrypt my home folder. We're not doing anything super secret. Ooh, has Features all right. It's copying files. I think I'm gonna pause it for now, I guess, and we'll come back. All right, installation is complete. You need to restart your computer in order to use the new installation. So restart. Please remove installation media and close the tray. All right. Well, we don't have any. Hit enter. Okay. Here's my new login screen. Huh? Interesting. Pretty nice. All right, so <clears throat> right away the resolution is pretty, we need to change this. Let's see, right click, where's my settings? Guy has been a while, it looks like, that doesn't look like it's it. Here, system settings. So that was, I mean, how, how much easier can it get to install operating systems anymore, right? <laughs> so let me hit displays, let's see what we got here. I don't wanna adjust anything, I just kinda want things to happen properly. Um, okay, maybe maybe I won't be able to do that. Interesting. Uh, Built-in display. See, because that's not going to do anything. Um, how do I get to the other section of the screens, I guess? And why do I only have that option? I can't turn that off. I wonder... 
Okay, we may need to go in and install some drivers or something. Oh, you know what? I, I know what we need. God, it's been so long. <laughs> Virtual boxes, uh, thingamabob. And let's see down here. What'd they call it? It's been a while. Like extra tools or something. Where is it at? Is it down here? It's up in the settings. Devices, install guest editions. That's what it is. Let's try that. So how do I get back to my desktop? Oh, God. Um, there we go. Uh, yeah, run it. Run it, baby. Let's do this. Um, it's authenticate, saying we can install this stuff. This is what we need. It's been a while. <laughs> I used to be pretty decent with Linux, but... I guess you get spoiled with Windows and OS 10, not having to think too much, but installing graphic libraries, press return to close the window. Let's go back in there. All right, window's been closed. Doesn't look like we could do anything different yet. Maybe we need to restart real quick. How do I do that? Oh God, let's see if we can close that, no. All right, let's just go up here. Let's do, a um, Shut down? Yeah, we can do a shut down. Let's do a restart. I don't know if the screen's gonna automatically resize for us. Yep, it did. Cool. And, well, very nice, very clean. Um, and I think we they've had this interface, I forgot what it's called, Unity or something, where the taskbar's on the left, and I, I, I don't know, it's, I forgot all the proper terminology, so RT, FM, right? Uh, but anyways, all right, so let's just see. I want to go back in there and see what the difference is with the displays, at least with the display settings. So let's see, displays. That's the only option we have. Tintoon, why is that? Maybe you guys can help answer that, but I mean, I'm okay with this resolution, but why is that the only option we have? Is there a different way of doing this? Let's see. Um, I think that would be, it should be in there. Unknown display. Maybe, maybe I got to install some, some things. Anyways, that was it. Ubuntu 14.04 in VirtualBox on Yosemite. It should be the same or very similar on a Windows box or a Linux box. So anyways, you guys got any pointers? Any of you Linux Ubuntu guys out there on, um, Maybe, so here, here's here's my main thing is, I wanna install PHP in my SQL, I can do something like LAMP or WAMP, or, or or should I just install it all individually? What are your guys' recommendations? The main thing I wanna do is relearn some PHP in my SQL uh, web development. All right guys, talk to you later.